what we're doing here is we're checking power from the computer board to the wire that feeds power to the spin motor. If we get a spin motor fault in the front, this is one of the things that you may need to do. So now to start with, I've taken a paper clip and I just wound it around the end of my lead so that I can use it as a probe wire. So I come down here to my wire that comes from the computer board. You can see how it comes out of the machine here. And that, this is what feeds to the spin motor. In my pre other video, uh, when I had the spin motor on the bench, I, I explained this one. Now, the red wire, which is the small wire, is the one for the spin motor. The middle wire is the neutral or common. The right wire goes to the heating element to cook the sugar. So I'm going to take my lead here and I'm just going to put it into the connector here. And, there's, and remember, you do this with the machine unplugged so it's no chance of shocking yourself. Now if we follow this around, this wire goes into this hole, comes down through here, comes around and comes up into this connector here. Now you may need to check, take your probe and put it on either side of the connector there to make sure you've got continuity. Again, check, make sure your meter beeps or that you run zeros on both sides. So, and in this case I'm going to leave the connector because I connected, but we have had several times when the connectors inside of here have failed and lost connection, so just be aware of that. So I'm going to come up to the computer board, 